a big deal. I can remember getting up to watch Princess Diana's wedding. That was huge. I don't remember doing it. Oh, I did. My mom still talks about it. And in less than two days, King Charles III will officially be crowned in London. But, you know, there's always a way to get an inside glimpse. And it, this glimpse is right here in Northeast Ohio. Well, that's cool. The Cleveland Museum of Arts exhibit The Tudors, Art and Majesty in Renaissance England features the royal family's own pieces that are on loan. Thanks. So we got a great opportunity to check them out. We sent our Lindsay Buckingham to look at it earlier today, and she's with us now on the set of What's New. Betsy's all excited about this. Oh, she yeah. took mom over the weekend. Yeah. What did you learn? You know what, I learned a lot. I have to admit I'm not a huge art scholar, but I learned a lot today, and if you haven't already visited, this is the perfect time to go. Big, bold colors, oil paintings dating back to the 16th century, and pieces of the royal family right here in Cleveland. We're talking about the Tudors, and it features iconic portraits, wall-sized tapestries that cost as much as a 16th century warship, sculptures, and armor. Some of the pieces are on loan from the royal family, but the art is from 30 different collectors from all over the world. Chief Marketing Officer Todd Mess says the exhibit highlights just how prestigious art is to the royal family. People don't always know the Tudor's name. They sometimes think it's a style of architecture in Shaker Heights, but they know Henry VIII. They know Elizabeth. They know Bloody Mary. But the idea with this exhibition is to really talk about how the royal family use art to present themselves to the world. Now, one piece on loan from, the, from King Charles III is the portrait of Jane Seymour. The museum says what makes it so special is having one of its own renderings right next to the painting. The Tudors exhibit is on display through May 14th. The Art Museum does offer free admission, but you do have a ticket to, to check out this very special exhibit. Now, coming up, coming up at five, we're going to show you how the royal family used art to put their dominance on display. Yeah, and if mm. you are really big into uh, Henry VIII and all the wives, we have the uh, Broadway show Six coming to Cleveland later this year. That kind of ties into this story too. But if you really want kind of a cool spin on all this, do a Google search for Bess of Hardwick. Ooh, I she remember She was like that. a girl boss of the old days. Okay. She worked her way through Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabethan girl society. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's cool. Has the exhibit led to an uptick of visitors? Oh, yes. Good. People are excited about the coronation, obviously, so they're going to check out what the royal family has loaned the art museum, but also there's a big art following in Cleveland. I learned that today as well, and they're very interested in this display. There was a lot of people there today, and I think they're going to see even more throughout the week. And a pro tip, if you are a member of the museum, you get into the, the thing for free, the yes. exhibit for free. There you go. If you want to continue to visit the museum, put the money that you're going to spend on tickets toward a membership. Ooh. And then you get to go back and there's more benefits that you get too. I like that. Very smart. Leave it to Betsy for, I, the, for, for the, the frugal deal. tips. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's truly a treasure to have that here and I'm so glad they're getting more love. I Thanks, Lynn. You're Lindsay. welcome, guys.